Meghan Markle attended one of Prince Harry's polo matches on Saturday, continuing her streak of incredibly stylish Sumner dresses. This time, it was a breezy sleeveless style from New York label Shoshana. At the event, Markle donned a Shoshana Gruss sleeveless, gingham island dress, which tied at the waist. The dress is the brand's Ashland style, which Markle paired with Sarah Flint sandals and a cute Madewell white hat. The Duchess of Sussex, 36, looked relaxed as she beamed in the sun, pairing her dress with sandals, a white hat and sunnies. Meghan made a subtle entrance as she arrived in Ascot to watch Prince Harry bond with big brother Prince William at the Cowworth Park Polo Club. One thing Meghan Markle nearly always gets right is her fashion. The new Duchess of Sussex hit a grand slam again when she was on Haddon to cheer Prince Harry, and her brother-in-law, Prince William, as they played polo. She attended with her close friend, Serena Williams, whose husband, Alexis Ahanian, also participated. Among the world's most scrutinized women, every move Markle makes gets analyzed under a microscope. According to a Harper's Bazaar report, the Duchess stunned at the Audi Polo Challenge, which took place in Ascot where she looked relaxed and happy. Overall, Markle's outfit for the weekend polo outing cost a relatively small amount compared with some of her other clothing. The dress cost about $395 and the shoes cost about $245. Not an official royal duty, everybody appeared to enjoy themselves at the charity polo match. The Duchess's latest outing comes after reports that a royal wardrobe costs around $1 million so far, according to Entertainment Tonight. Royal expert Katie Nichol told the publication that Meghan is no longer responsible for paying for her own clothes, now that she is married to Prince Harry. As Nichol revealed, it does fall now, that she is married into the royal family to the Prince of Wales, to cover the cost of her working royal wardrobe. The cost, Nicol thinks, is justified, Meghan is now an ambassador for the royal family. Look at the publicity she has brought in run up to the wedding. I'd argue that's worth every penny. The light-hearted moments came after a week where the press heavily criticized Markle for supposed faux pas she made during an appearance with her husband, Prince Harry, and the Queen at the Queen's Young Leader Awards. Not only did she forget her duchess slant and cross her legs at the knees instead of the ankles, but also she forgot the unwritten no PDA rule apparently. In a moment that might have felt awkward, she reached out toward her new husband's hand as the couple walked behind the queen, only to have him visibly pull his hands into himself and clasp them in front of him. Even so, she moved on as if nothing had happened, and while the small situation made headlines, many felt it certainly wasn't an actual break in royal protocol. Please subscribe channel. Thank you for watching.